Well, right now, you can help children and adults stay warm this winter. News 4 and Colvin Cleaners are holding a Coats for Kids live drive right now. Jordan Norcus is at Market in the Square in West Seneca tonight to give us an update. Jordan. Dave and Jackie, we have been here since 4 o'clock in the afternoon collecting your coats, hats, gloves, and scarves. We've seen a great outpouring of support, but there is still time. We'll be here at, until 7 o'clock here at Market in the Square in West Seneca. So come on down, bring out a donation. In the meantime, though, we want to give you an update. I'm joined by Paul Bellani and Suzanne Lemke from Allstate. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Glad to be here. Paul, why don't you start off? Give us a quick little update on what we saw today. Uh, well, we saw a lot of generous people show up because of the marketing, you know, from Channel 4, YRK, BLK. I mean, it, it's really been incredible. Um, our trucks are almost full. Almost. Yeah, almost full. And But that's only the start. Right. We've got our next one next week. We need as many coats as people could possibly give us. Um, Brian and uh, Nick Kosminski, the owners of Market on the Square, um, they were very generous. They gave us a check for $1,000 wow. that we put toward our marketing and new coats when we have to buy them. Every now and then we have to do that. Um, but just every, every year here, it's always such a success. And, and Suzanne, Allstate has been a part of this for so many years. Too, yes, they have. Right? Very much a big proponent. All the offices are collecting coats around the Erie County area. And then we're also having a drive in Clarence on December 10th uh, in my office. So I'd love to have you come and bring the coats there, and we're collecting them at a daycare there as well. But most of the Allstate locations have barrels. So it's so going to be a line coats. out your office now. Just yes. you wait. So Suzanne, let me ask you. You know why is it important for you guys at Allstate to keep coming back and doing this with cold and cleaners year after year? It's very heartfelt. It's uh, to help friends of the night and be a proponent in the community and to work with the Balanis, who have really started this whole program. It's just been very heartfelt and wonderful. And Paul, let me ask you, you know, just the reaction that you see, you know, when, when all this is distributed, you know, that's the other side of this, right? That's why we're all doing this. What's, what, what do you see on the other side of this? Well, the other side of it is we're starting to get ready for gallons per prom. So <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't rest on any laurels of anything that we do because there's always something we're doing for the community. But with Coach for Kids, I mean, right. when you see parents that can't afford coats for their kids and they have to show up at different facilities to get coats for their kids. It's very humbling. All right. Well, that guys, thank you. Again, we are here until 7 o'clock tonight. If you can't make it tonight, next Thursday, 4 to 7, we'll be at Reed's Gens in Amherst. You could also drop your donations off if you can't make it to that to Colvin Cleaners or Allstate. We'll also have all this information up on our website, WIVB.com. Reporting from Market in the Square in West Seneca, Jordan Orcus, News 4.